Hi everyone. We don't know about you, but we really admire people who can create all sorts of amazing things. But we're not talking exclusively about artists, sculptors, or brilliant musicians. Chefs can also create masterpieces, just like builders, and of course, barbers. Some might think that the profession of barber or hairdresser looks simple and doesn't leave much room for creativity. Anyone can cut their hair. Well, if you also subscribe to this point of view, get ready, because this video will surely make you change your mind. Get ready to see the most unusual barbers with unique skills. Let's get it on. What tools does a barber need? Scissors? Certainly. Shaver? Of course. Straight razor? Yes, that's an essential tool. Different combs, bottles with all kinds of liquids. But what about a saw? We're not joking. In this guy's salon, you can see a real saw, as well as a chainsaw. We have to mention that these tools are used only for their intended purpose. Despite the spectacular effect, the barber does use them to cut people's hair. And that's a good thing, because it's scary to imagine how this could end. However, the owner's passion for extravagant tools only makes this salon more popular. This is how he gets high-profile clients like football stars. Perhaps a chainsaw is a great advertising tool after all. Want to get your hair cut with samurai swords? Then you have to go to the Vietnamese city of Da Nang, where a barber Nguyen and Hoang Hung creates hairstyles with traditional Japanese weapons. They say he doesn't use scissors at all, opting for a pair of razor-sharp swords instead. As Hung says, it took him four years to truly master the skill of cutting hair with such unusual tools. It took him a while to become confident enough to practice on clients. Apparently before that, Hung practiced on his relatives and friends, brave people. Well, according to another story, at first he practiced on wigs with long hair, and only then switched to live people. One of the most unusual barbers of our time lives in Madrid. Blowtorches and ninja swords are part of the unique techniques that Alberto Olmedo has mastered. And yes, he really cuts people's hair like that. The barber uses strange, perhaps even medieval techniques, but this way he makes the most unique haircuts in the world. By the way, we said medieval techniques for a good reason. Alberto is proud that he uses primitive tools, but the result of his work looks perfect every time. The barber argues that his approach is based on the traditions of the Renaissance, and that swords allow him to simultaneously cut hair on both sides of the head. Olmedo also says that swords help make hairstyles more accurate. But how did he come up with this idea in the first place? It seems that at one point, Olmedo just gave up on scissors and decided to try something new. Braver clients can opt for a haircut involving inserted claws, which protrude out from each of Olmedo's hands. Have you ever imagined Wolverine could own a beauty salon? Alberto is not the only one who can cut your hair using swords. Almost all the employees, including Olmedo's wife, learn to use these techniques. Alberto says that his salon's next project will involve precision lasers, and we do hope he's kidding. Hair scissors from the Verne brand were invented at the end of the last century. At the same time, a new hair cutting technology was invented, which is performed with two hands using these special scissors. It seems that the barbers are holding a bunch of ordinary scissors in their hands, but these are actually special devices invented and made for the fastest and most fashionable haircut. Scissors are used both together and separately. If you believe the hairdressers, and your eyes for that matter, the result is stunning. Of course, you need to practice a lot to use two Verne scissors at the same time, but the client will remember this experience for their entire life. Playing with fire is a very bad idea, especially if you jump into it with loose hair that could start burning at any moment. It could lead to terrible results. But the Turkish barber Kadir Demirel, who runs the Capsalon Istanbul Salon in the Netherlands, managed to somehow tame the flame. He set the scissors aside and instead started to use a flammable liquid that he sprays directly on the client's hair to, that's right, set it on fire. Be careful, don't try to repeat this 
trick. It is performed by a professional. Shocking footage taken at the salon shows Demerel using a hairbrush while the client's hair is burning and smoking. According to the barber, he mastered this technique while studying hairdressing in Turkey. In fact, the method of cutting hair with fire is even considered traditional. It was once used to get rid of parasites, as well as for styling and smoothing hair, because at that time there were no hair dryers. Now Demerel tames unruly, curly hair and removes split ends with the help of fire. It may not be easy to muster up the courage to do such a haircut, but the barber claims that his clients are not afraid of fire because they trust their master, and he even works with kids. Do you think you've already seen all the crazy haircutting techniques? Well, what about a haircut done with a sharp-edged axe? Remember, don't try to repeat these at home or in the street. It's better to leave this kind of work to professionals, like a Siberian hairdresser, Daniel Istomin. He started cutting, or rather chopping, hair with an axe because he wanted to try something new. Daniel says that he had been looking for ways to diversify the usual haircutting process before. For example, he cut people's hair blindfolded, as well as with two pairs of scissors at once while holding them in both hands, but it can hardly be compared to a haircut done with an axe. And although it seems like this method's very complicated, Daniil says it's quite easier than the usual way. With one stroke, you can cut as much hair as with ten scissor strokes, he explained, adding that this method is not difficult for a professional, but it's not easy for people who watch the process to keep calm. Who knows, the axe might slip a little, and we can only hope that Daniel knows what he's doing. How can you become an internet celebrity if you're only six years old? Well, you could post some videos on YouTube, mm -hmm. but you could also work as a barber. Jan Hong Ki is the son of hair salon owners. When the boy was four, they started to take him with them all the time. Maybe they wanted to keep an eye on him, or maybe the parents immediately noticed his secret talent. Whatever it was, after watching the adults work, the boy realized that he could also be a barber. Of course, no one entrusted such a small child with scissors just because he asked. The kid began with washing and drying the client's hair. Harmless work, especially if a careful child is the one doing it. But with time, he became a barber. And it turned out that the boy who literally grew up in a barber shop could easily give any haircut he might possibly want. At first, the adult colleagues were helping him. But now, Jiang can serve his clients on his own, and he's very responsible. Thanks to the video from the salon, little Jiang also became an internet celebrity. People from all over the world so that they want to have their hair done by him. Well, they also envy the boy's parents, because most children prefer playing video games to doing any work. How many pairs of scissors does one need to do a perfect haircut? The Pakistani hairstylist called Sadiq Ali uses between 11 and 15 pairs, all at the same time. You must be wondering how he manages to hold so many in his hands, but we don't really have an answer to that. Most likely, it's thanks to a lot of practicing. Sadiq became a hairdresser at 15 and spent about five years perfecting his skills. At first, these scissors seemed too heavy for him. It was difficult to hold them all at the same time. We wouldn't recommend repeating his experiments either. You could easily injure someone. Sadiq spends about 20 minutes on each haircut. In 2017, he charged only two US dollars for a haircut. But still, it's not so easy to get an appointment with Ali. He only serves 20 clients a day, and among his clients, there are many celebrities who enjoy a fast haircut. For example, the Pakistan national cricket team. Ali says that he was inspired to start learning the unusual haircutting technique by Zidong Wan, a Chinese hairdresser. Using 10 scissors at the same time, he set a world record, which was included in the Guinness Book of Records. Ali thought that he could even achieve the same results and even surpass them. And you know, he was not wrong. And finally, a small bonus. Josh Groen is not a barber. He is a Canadian comedian. But we included him in our video for a good reason. All because Josh invented a new, unique way of cutting hair during the pandemic. To maintain the social distancing, he used a hockey stick. Okay, the idea actually belonged to Josh's father, who became the first person in the world to get a haircut done with it. It's truly a Canadian thing. And yes, everything you're looking at actually happened. It is a real hockey stick, a real trimmer, Josh's real father who risked his hair for science. If you want to repeat this at home, here are a few secrets the comedian shared. You need to be very careful and slow, swiping the shaver from the bottom up. Only then will you be able to create a perfect hairstyle, even during a quarantine. Psst. 
Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 